Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to London, England. We're at the Royal London Theatre for a much anticipated main event. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside and they expect this one to be a barn burner. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. You got this. Opening round here. See if they go the full 12 tonight. Good block. What are some of the adjustments that can typically be made halfway through a matchup like this of speed versus speed? Just to remind your charge, your fighter, that hey, there's a lot more to this world to this fight than just speed. Why don't you start doing other things? Why don't you start fainting a little bit? Get the guy out of position a little bit. Get him in some false moves. The Lions defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Combination to the head. Come on, kid, closer. The Lions defense is paying off now. Halfway through this round. Good strong combo. Lions doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away. Yeah. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. On the mark with the straight left hand. Get him, get him. Good defensive skill. One to give one, he comes back with a right hand. Lopez has got to wake up to the fact that he just lost that last round. And the reason he did was because he wasn't efficient. He wasn't accurate. Yeah, he was throwing punches. He wasn't landing many. No, he's throwing them from too far away. They're too wide. He needs to shorten them up, get into better range, and use that jab as a finder. Let's go. What are you waiting for? You want this fight? Then let's get moving out there. This guy's gonna win this fight. If you don't take control, son, you need to take control. Here we go. Round two is underway. Showing you some defense there with the block. Oh. 
not getting it done with that straight right hand. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. The Lions out there just waiting on a counterpunch, isn't he? Yeah, well, first of all, why is he? Because he knows if he walks in, he's going to get caught. So what he wants to do is he knows there's basically a guard at that door. He's trying to get that guard to get out of there so he can go through that door. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Putting his punches together, landing two shots there. Off target with that hook. Shot blocked. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Keep working the body. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Good fundamental work landing the one two there. And we come to the end of round number two. Lopez's commitment to just pure offense is lacking right now. I mean, the guy has to let the hands go. Well, he was hurt earlier. You know, there was a little short punch on the inside around before, and nobody really noticed it. But guess what? He did. And I think that's why you're seeing him be a little bit unsure of himself and not throwing the punches that otherwise you'd say, hey, come on, how come you're not? That is why. And round number three is underway. Nice combination, throwing more than one, both scored there. Back to the body! He clinches when he gets to the inside. Took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Keep working the body. Blocks the headshot. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep and moving. you see how he just set the table for that right hand after the jab. Teddy, I've heard you say it many times before, but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to because obviously your opponent is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them off balance. Stay effective. Nice block by Lopez. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Blocks that punch. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Focus. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Keep that head moving. 
see he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Good job staying away from the danger there. Keep moving, keep moving. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Keep working the jab. Good, good. Last 10 seconds of round number three. They're sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. And this round comes to an end. Keep your hands up, all right? You're doing fine. You got any more of these? I'll give you one. Hold it. Yeah. You gotta let your hands go. You have to. You have to be busy. This this guy is beating the shit out of you. You have to throw three or four punches in a row. You can turn this around, but you gotta let it go. Look, you stand. Start of round number four. Lopez is sizzling up those punches thrown stats, but nothing else is working for him. He has not earned a single round on your scorecard. Well, I don't like the kind of punches he's throwing. He should go to the butcher shop, cut some fat off those punches. Locks that belt line well. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Get that focus. Nice. The Lions showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. And he's holding. He gets off with a combination up top. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Halfway through round number four. You got this one. Well, he's got the attitude, something's got to stick. He fires off the combination and they both do. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Left and right, left and right. Ten Let's seconds to go in the fourth. Now he goes to the gut with a right hand. In and out, in and out. Solid left. You gotta land a big punch now. No doubt about it, you are losing this fight. You need to throw and land a big shot. Look at me. Knock this motherfucker out. Don't fight his fight, Jack.
Keep boxing smart, in and out, side to side, you understand? We got it. And he's able to put his punches together. That's a nice looking combo. Well, that's the benefit of two and three instead of one. Hey, keep your hands up. Punch, punch. Beat him to the punch. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Relax, relax. He's tired, he's tired! Come on, baby. You got this one! Lopez is able to avoid that punch. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Work your body, kid. Body shot. Keep working the body. Keep moving. Keep moving. Off the target by Lopez. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. And that does it for this round. The Lions putting forth an effort, but he's not being effective in that regard. No, he's not. He's not landing when he needs to land. And it kind of reminds he's a banger, too. He can punch a little. It reminds me of an old saying that a trainer once told me. It doesn't mean anything to have a big punch. It's kind of like having a military weapon, a bomb. What good is it if you don't have a missile to get it to the target? Right now, he needs a missile to get that punch. He needs to set it up, and he's not doing that. Back to action here, but that action has only favored one man. Completely one-sided. Hard to see the scorecards coming into play here with how dominating he's been. On, what a trap he just it. set, and he lands a nice counterpunch. Yeah, that's the old cast with a ghost trick there. You know, you're there one time, you give him a little shade, you know, a little shadow, and then he throws at you, you pull back, bang, come right back with your own. Oh, everybody will tell you, you can't get away with that. What a big, wide-sweeping whiff that was. Well, you can get away with just it if the guy doesn't want to throw body. back, but if this guy wants to start throwing back, then you're not getting away with it. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. <laughs> Took a shot. Now he gives a left.
Left to the body. Lopez has got a way of just getting away from that punch. Halfway through round six. Left hand over the top, he's accurate with it. Right to the head with that right. Why is his opponent struggling so much here? Why can he not land a clean headshot? Well, one reason is his opponent is moving his head. He's doing a good job of being elusive, but there's no change. He's just throwing straight, naked punches at him. He needs to make a little adjustment, a little adaptation. He needs to feint a little bit. Get a false move, get him out of position, get him off balance, and then time him a little bit. He keeps just throwing at him. He's going to keep doing what he's doing. Move air around. The Lions rocked by a huge hook to the head. Scores with the combo to the head. And that's the end of round six. He's winning the fight. I mean, don't, don't tell me anything different than he's winning the fight. Yeah, except at the end of the fight, sometimes these judges, they do tell you things differently. Hopefully that's not the case. Well, he's, he's up way on the punch stats. I know he's ahead on your scorecard, and you can just tell everything that's happening in the ring, he's in control. Here we are, the start of another round, and if everything goes according to the way the first half of this fight went, he's going to be coasting in for an easy win. Well, if his opponent goes along with it, he Woo! definitely will, but maybe he had changed the script a little, flipped the script a bit. Gets rid of that effort. Here's something that's a key factor now, and that is his ability to simply defend himself. He's doing a wonderful job at it. Yeah, he is, and that gives him the ability to always be fresh and confident round after round since he's not taking a lot of punishment. Right back to the body. Come on, kid, focus. 
Left hand came after the jab. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. And that's the end of round seven. Good, nice work. Listen, I want you to go downstairs, then upstairs, okay? Body, then head. Let's finish this. All night long, this is you. You're losing this fight. I need you to take some chances now. You have to take a chance with this guy, all right? You got that? You have to take a risk. Now listen to me. You know, neither man's been pushed too hard so far, but one man has taken advantage of it. A commanding lead on your scorecard, Teddy, as we start round number eight. Yeah, he hasn't been forced into a fast pace, so he's just taken what's been given to him. There's been a lot of picking there, the fruit at the top of the tree, and he's picked it. Nice block by Lopez. Nice. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep it up. Come on, kid. Focus. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. The old one-two scores for him. Gets rid of that body shot. Really frustrating his opponent now, as he's so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by the Lion. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Committing now to the left hand. Good straight shot. Scored well up top. Committing to the combo now, both land. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. He just missed that shot up top. Keep working the body. Well, that's yet another round that he won, and Teddy is in great shape. You want this? What were you hearing out of his training well, camp as to how he got so conditioned? Well, we were hearing that he was doing his low work, wearing knapsacks with 20 pounds of sand in them, running uphill. I mean, that's one of them. Also, instead of taking minute rest and sparring, he was taking 20 second, 30 second rest. It's showing right now. The water in the corner. Another round underway, but how many more will we see? You get the sense this fight could be heading towards a stoppage. The combo lands upstairs.
blocks shot. away that headshot. Side to side. Pace yourself. Speed up to the punch. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by the Lions. He's tired, he's tired. 90 seconds into the ninth round. Nice block. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Basic but beautiful. Jab, left hand. Down defense, good block that time by Lopez. Last 10 Come seconds on. of the ninth Get round. Focus. Lopez's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Nice. Now nice. committing to that jab straight hand and it works out. So another round comes to an end that Teddy, when you put pen to paper, you're putting down the very same way. He's up by a lot here. Yeah, he is up by a lot. And the good news for him is he's up by a lot in his kind of fight. You know, it's going to pay the kind of pace he wants and in the dimensions that he wants. Uh, you got to breathe. Just breathe. Relax. How are you feeling out there? Now you're not winning. Another round, will it go in another one-way direction? It's been a one-sided fight so far tonight. Right. Keep moving, keep moving. <laughs> Blocks that punch. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. The Lions using a lot of energy just by throwing so many punches, but he's not getting much out of all this effort at all. No, he's working much too hard. And that's a good point there. He's working really too hard for what he's getting done. He has to now start to educate himself, start to, you know, place those punches in the right spots. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. Jump on him. Back to the body! 
that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by the Lion. Keep moving. Keep it moving. Keep working the body. Let's go, hit him. Coming to the end of round number 10. 10 seconds to go. Great movement to get away from those punches. And that's the end of round 10. Let's go. You have to. You have to be busy. This, this guy is beating the shit out of you. You have to throw three or four punches in a row. You can turn this around, but you got to let it go. You need to cap. He's almost done. You had him that round. You're in control. We got it. Next round. Let's keep busy. You're doing fine. He's just beating you to punch. That's all. You need to throw more. Lopez is in a tough spot right here. It's up to him now to get desperate and to just want it. Round number 11, he's trailing on your scorecards by a wide margin. Now your life's come down to minutes. All the hours, all the months, all the years that you've put into this sport, it comes down to minutes now. Good defense just covering up down low. Nicely timed one, two. Keep moving, keep moving. Work the body, kid. Body shots. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Keep moving, keep moving. He moved. That's it. Up. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Keep working the body. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. 90 seconds to go in this 11th round. Well-placed jab straight. Nice block by Lopez. Carries that punch intended for the head. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. One, two, one, two. Body shot. Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. What a difference from corner to corner as he sits on his stool. He knows that he is in complete control of this fight, peppering his opponent with power shots. Well, it's been like that all night long. Anything he throws finds a target. You want to win this? Keep moving. Keep moving. Listen, I want you to pick his jabs. When he throws a jab, parry it away and you'll catch it. Okay? You got that? It's going to happen. You got to catch him. Time. The last round has arrived. 
Good job with another left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. The Lions defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. You know, many times we talk about the fact that, hey, at least he's throwing punches, but that's all you can say in this case because he's not landing many of these. No, they're being blocked or they're missing. They're definitely not landing clean, and you have to give credit to the other fighter being that good defensively. Nice work, great technique. The combo lands. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. Look at him put his punches together. Good, solid right hand he lands there. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Halfway through this 12th and final round. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Scored well up top. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by the Lions. And you see what he can do when he sends that. He is not in good. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Oh, and he goes down after that punch. And it's been long overdue. He's been leaving an opening all night. One, two, three, four, five. Lopez Kick is move. back up Kick on his feet. Now, what will be interesting to see here is how he reacts in the next few moments. Blocking that punch. Very good defense by Lopez. He missed with that headshot. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? One, two, three, four, five. Six. That's it. It's over. Fight is over. The Lions, a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. I don't know why we're always so shocked, but we just are. You'd think we'd learn by now that anything can happen. Here's a fight that is clearly heading to a decision, and just like that, it's over by knockout. Yeah, you need to go to sleep, take a sleeping pill, or do that. Stick your chin out, bang. That does it from ringside. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us.